Good evening, cult members. Welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is our non-spoiler review of Peppermint. Uh, now, I have to be careful how I say it so I don't pop my peas into the microphone. <laughs> uh, but I can't I can't make any promises. Um, this is Peppermint. It is uh, Jennifer Gardner's newest movie. Um, and we just got home from seeing it. Yep. Um, I, I'm going to start off by saying uh, we've uh, seen several movies here in the last uh, several weeks. And I'm pretty sure most of them have been somewhat produced by the H brothers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. This was another one that popped up, and they're like, and and you know, they do all the production companies beforehand. It says H brothers, and we're like, wait a minute, I think that's like the fifth <laughs> one we've seen in a row where it's been from the H brothers. Yep. Um, this is directed by a gentleman by the name of Pierre Morel. He is French. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, uh, not a ton of stuff to his uh, name director wise, but he's done a bunch of uh, lighting directing, uh, lighting and director photography and that kind of stuff. Before. All right. Um, and it kind of showed in this movie. Yes. Um, uh, overall, it's a very paint by color, paint by numbers, ABC vigilante story. Yes. It, it didn't break any new ground. There was a twist in the middle that's kind of made sense for the, again. It made sense, but you saw it coming. You kinda, Yeah. And and I, I wasn't opposed that we saw it, um, but I wanted it to be better than what we saw. Yeah. Well, and I mean, we have the A-list, so we didn't technically pay for it. I think that's I would have. That's true. Probably not been super happy if we'd actually paid thirteen dollars a person yeah, or whatever yeah. to see I, if movie. we didn't have the a pass or the a list thing we wouldn't have been going to this um uh I, the trailers kind of had me intrigued with the general idea yeah um uh i just i wanted more and i didn't get it yeah and, and yeah it was it was kind of like eh, and then it like it would get almost there yeah and then yeah not. um Jennifer Gardner is actually pretty good overall in the yeah, role. Yeah. Um, and people forget that she she has an action background. Uh, she was an alias um, um, on H on on TV for forever. Um, she was Electra in uh, the Daredevil with Ben Affleck. And then she played Electra on her own and stuff we, like that. We try to forget about that. Uh, one. That we forget about the, that one. But she has um, a physical action star past. Yeah. And a lot of people when we were um, our daughter was one of them was talking about how she just doesn't see Jennifer Gardner as this kind of vigilante badass. Yeah. She hasn't done this kind of thing for a long time, though. Well, she became so, a mom and did the mom. Right. Thing. So eh, it's a little. Yeah. All right. Yeah. She was she I, I was quite pleased with her. She's still. Yeah. I mean, she's still in shape and she's still. You know, it seems like she could do most of the stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Wasn't paying us a, a whole lot of attention as to what was stunt versus her. But they uh, they did a pretty good job at some of the hand to ham stuff. Um, hand to ham uh, stuff. Hand to ham. Um, kind of getting, you know, the camera angles where you're out of the way. But you could see that she did a lot of the physical stuff and a lot of the gunplay stuff. She did a lot of that. Um, and she looked very comfortable with a gun in her hand. And yeah, that, yeah. And sometimes that kind of it gets a little hard for people to deal with having a gun in her hand. But she's had a lot of practice and stuff like that. She actually put in the work. Um, the other big standout for me was John Ortiz. Um, he plays one of the two detectives. Um, John is one of those guys. He's like he's the that guy. And he's he's, yeah. he's that he's that kind of yeah. character actor. Um, he's the bad um, cop in well eh, in the uh american gangster yeah i was just looking I it up I, I don't know that he's the bad cop but he's the one that gets sucked kind of the, the yeah drugs he plays uh braga in the fast and the furious movies oh, yeah, he is braga uh and so he was actually really good and and it's been really easy for him to be that st stereotypical um hard ass cop um, who then gets a soft heart at the end and feels for Jennifer Gardner's character, Riley North. And it, it, she, he was pretty consistent throughout the whole thing. Yeah. 
as yep. as a as an actor as yep. a, as a character. Yep. Um, a couple of things that I I really was struggling with was um, is the the cartel members mm -hmm. were all very stereotypical cartel members. They were yeah. all yeah. kind of cholo looking Mexican guys. Yeah. Well, instead of and just when you put people in a lineup and the bad guys all have facial tattoos right. and no one else in the lineup has facial tattoos. Right. Guess who she's going to pick? Right. It's so that was, <laughs> that was, uh, that was one of the things I was like in the middle of the movie and I'm like, ah, this is, this is, I'm not going to say it's racist, but it's, it's very, like I said, it, the whole movie is very paint by numbers yeah. and, uh, and, and as, as much as I want to have movies like this be around, I want I we've seen too many good movies yeah. this year yeah. to just go and say oh yeah it was good it's just like I, I yeah it, yeah you could make a better probably lower low budget movie. yes um the foreigner was was really good and that was you know the Jackie Chan yeah 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 that was H Brothers wasn't it yeah was that, that was H, H Brothers too twenty three yeah. yeah so I I thought that was good yeah. Yeah, I thought that that was actually probably a better version of the vigilante story than what this was, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and, and and that was also um, had the IRA involved and that mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So the stereotypical stuff that happened in that movie wasn't as prevalent to us who live on a border yeah, state I just, with I, the cartels that are around. I felt more in that one. Yeah, I felt. I felt Jackie Chan was really good in that one. Yeah, I felt yeah, bad like for really him. Really good in that one. I felt vindicated when he beat up the bad guys in this one. It was like, eh, okay. I mean, sucks for you, but eh. yeah, I, I don't know that I it, it got sold. Whether it was Jennifer Garner, other people, but I, I just, don't think it was her fault. I think it was just the way the the script and how that kind of was. There wasn't enough time to really build up the feels for the family. Yeah. Is really what it came down to. It's like they they set up the feel for for her, and then they just jumped right into the action, and then yeah. they they did a time jump and stuff like that. So I thought that was probably maybe one one of the things that was lacking. So overall, just okay, not a world beater. Score two. Uh, I'm two. I'm two two five, and I'll give it a two two five only because um, the gun the gunplay the um very gung fu that you get from john wick where you're doing the the fighting and stuff like that yep. they did a pretty good job of translating that over to a female character um i would give it a higher score than what i gave it be but um there's been two movies that i've wanted to write my entire life i have seen both of them in the last week and a half so um uh now one of them is fanboys my version is a little bit different, but it's essentially the same story. And the vigilante having your whole family taken away from you kind of story has always been something I've always wanted to tell those stories. And it's already happened, so I guess i got to go back to work on Monday. All right. Anyways, that's our thoughts on Peppermint. What did you guys think? Let us know. Leave us a comment on this video. Tell us if you went and saw it. Tell us if you like Jennifer Gardner in this, in this role. Um, the... the kind of the stuff that I've been reading, it's been very mixed. Either they loved her, or they hated her, they loved this movie, or they hated it. So let us know what you thought. Like this video, and you've been here long enough, just subscribe to the channel. It's free, so why not do it? It's not going to change your life. Well, it's going to change our free. life, but it's free. Just go ahead and do it. You can get a hold of us, too, on our social media networks. You can get a hold of us on Facebook at Pop Culture Cult. We're Pop Culture Cult 1 on Instagram. We're at Pop underscore Cult 1 on Twitter. We're also on the Stardust app. Download it for free. Follow us first, and then react to everything you're watching. We just did our Stardust as we were walking out of the theater, um, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm liking that app a lot. So... Till the next review, good night now.